But there is more than just watching a scene like this. There is a way, there must be a way, to underline the moment at the shore, like an eager student marking up a text because he cares about what he is learning and wants to remember it forever, wants to highlight it, hold on to it, get it. I would say that in a panic attack, like in a horror film, one is always unable to construct the proper sentence at the moment the shit hits the fan. There is only the scream, or the wish to scream. I am uneasy with prayer and ritual act, just as I am uneasy with stacked rocks and all definitions of hope. The movie provided these women with the hope that this wasn't all there was. There was a life beyond the view of that window in your bedroom, that pink bedroom, heady with the scent of polish and lotion and blood, a life beyond all the views from all of the windows in your parents' house, a life beyond the family, the childhood home, a life simply beyond. The younger ones always come through trauma less scathed, as if their innocence gives them an exemption to the conflicts that core the afflicted. Each man kills the thing he loves. Some men will argue that there must be a man-made place of worship. Some men will argue that the hunky images on the screen verge on the holy. Some men will cut to the chase and worship other men. All of these idolatries seem worthwhile for a while. It is only Walter and I who know that a person can call anything a cathedral, even an idea, and dwell in it for days on end. <laughs>